there welcome to another painting tutorial in this tutorial we're going to paint a deer let's get started i'm going to use a spray bottle and then just kind of spray the paper preferably use a fine mist sprayer if you can just put a few sprays there and you can get this sketch on the link below just print it out and then paint along with me and let's start with the darker values. And I'm gonna use a size four filbert. And for the dark values, I have this Van Dyke Brown. So I'm gonna grab the Van Dyke Brown and then start putting in these values along the legs. And then I'm hoping that the water and the moisture will just kind of allow me to kind of blend the paints a little more easily, almost as if they're oil paints. So we're doing the legs first, and they are fairly dark. Probably gonna have to do more than one layer of this kind of build up these layers because they're looking just a little bit translucent. Okay, and for the rocks along the bottom, you could mix up a gray color. So you can take a little bit of titanium white and mix some Payne's gray. And then just kind of randomly place this onto the palette or onto the page. Just get some random dark colors and light colors and kind of blend them along. Maybe put some more titanium white in there and just kind of blend. It doesn't have to be too detailed. It's going to be a little bit abstract. We want this to kind of fade into the background almost. Okay, and let's go back to the body of the deer so this part of the chest is also fairly dark and then the barrel of the tummy we want to kind of make our brush strokes go in the direction of form so curving up where his stomach is all right and then we have same thing under his chin we have a darker value there and along the antlers can be a darker shade. You can put a little bit in there. And then for the antlers, it's going to be dark kind of closer to the bottom. And I have a thinner area, so I'm going to take my brush and put it to the side. So when you use the edge of your brush, you can get a thinner line. And then the inside of the ears are gonna be fairly dark. So you can put those in. Okay, and maybe a little bit around the eye. We have some shadow. All right, so that's a good underpainting base. And now let's move to a lighter shade. So let's take some of this brown, this burnt sienna, and then put that on the other part of the body. So again, we're going with the direction of form, making some round kind of circular strokes here. And same with this part of the body. And I want to kind of blend those colors. So if the paper is still a little bit wet, that's going to allow us to blend these colors together nicely and have some nice smooth transitions from one value to the next. All right, and then I'm going to stick with this shade for the head. Let's do a layer of that kind of around the eye area. And the ears, 
we could do, we can do this color around the ears as well. Just trying to cover up some of these white areas, kind of blending in as you go. Okay, and let's bring this color up into the antlers. We'll do a next shade and they're kind of mixing. We've got a little bit more water than we'd like on the brush, but that's okay. We're just using these nice rich brown colors. Okay, so now I'm going to paint in the eye and let's use a size zero spotter brush and get some black paint or Payne's gray and then very carefully paint in a round eye and it's got a little bit of a eye lash so I'm kind of put that in as well and then on the other side this eye is showing ever so slightly so we'll just do a dark mark there okay and then around we'll let that um, dry. So we need another color. Let's take, I have kind of a beige color here. I'm going to put that down on the palette. This is just a craft paint. It's a convenience color because it's pre-mixed. You could mix this shade fairly easily as well. It's just going to be some brown, some red, and yellow, and some white. So let's take this and put it, this part of the deer, on this kind of chest area. This is just a lighter value. And I want to put that around, it's actually above the eye here. And I'm going to put it around the mouth. Just as kind of an underpainting. And then I want it around the eye. I have to do that really carefully. Oops. So we kind of smudged that eye a little bit because it wasn't dry all the way. So I'm going to try to put the other part on. And definitely let it dry before putting any more detail around the eye. Okay, and then I'm going to take this color using the edge of your brush. Just try to put in the tops of the antlers. So we're kind of going from a dark color to mid-tone and then to our lighter shade of this beige. Just fill in the rest of the antlers. And if some of that paint smudges or mixes together, that's perfectly fine. Okay, so that's a good under painting. So I definitely want this brown to be darker. So I'm going to just put another layer of this brown onto the deer. Sometimes it takes more than one layer of the paint to really get the saturation and the color that you need. Some paints are going to be more opaque than others. And then I'm going to kind of, you can sort of blend that color in and then let's take that burnt sienna and go right on top of that brown trying to blend the colors together okay and then we'll take a that dark van dyke brown and we'll go under the chin again and just kind of blend Thank you. 
And then let's switch to the size four filbert. Take that burnt sienna and put in another layer around the head and the face and then the ears as well. Okay, and I could put a little bit more of this onto the antlers. Just trying to build up that form. And now let's put in some details for the muzzle. I'm gonna use this size zero spotter for that. Let's take some black paint. I'm gonna very carefully put a thin line here where the mouth is. And then his nose is nice and black. So we'll try to put that in just completely black and we'll go back to add a highlight i'm going to clean up the eye a little bit and okay so now let's switch back to the size four take some burnt sienna and kind of put that around the eye of the deer so we want this little piece to be lighter. So this part along where that sketch is can kind of paint that color in. I'm trying to keep with the sketch. Bring this color down. Okay, and then I'm gonna mix a little bit of white with some of this beige tan color it's titanium white the tan and see if we can go around the eye just to make that look a little bit lighter and take that take those same colors and then try to go around this eye as well so this is kind of like the eyelid and then it comes down this way as like a highlight. And it goes along where the mouth is. Okay, and now let's put a little bit of a highlight. So I'm gonna take the spotter brush and let's take the white and see if we can very carefully put a little bit of a dot in there for the eye. The highlight inside the eye and then the nose we have a little line here and then another little line here for the nostril and there's a little bit of white around that and I want to clean up this part a little bit Okay, so now I think we need to bring some more highlights. So I'm gonna take the four filbert and take some white. And I'm gonna put in, just kind of put some white highlights along the chest. And that's kind of supposed to look like hair. So we'll just do a few highlights like that. We could do some around the belly as well. So maybe right here, there's just a little bit of highlight. And on the legs, we could do a little bit. And again, around those eyes, we can do a little bit of white around those eyes, just to kind of make them pop a little bit more. Okay, I can take some darker color and put it up here around the top of the head. Just kind of bring that nose into shadow a little bit. Make it look a little bit more three-dimensional. This part is dark. And maybe define his jawbone a little bit here. And inside the ears, we can go and do another layer of this 
darker paint. Okay, I want to fix his muzzle a little bit. Let's see if we can take a little bit of this tan and just kind of pop it underneath here. Just to clean up that mouth a little bit. It's okay if you need multiple layers. Okay, so I think that looks nice. So go around and see if there's any areas that you want to clean up. Anything you need to stand out a little bit more or kind of blend in. Go ahead and do that. And kind of look at your dark values. Maybe you might even need a third layer of some of those. Okay, and then you can kind of clean up your antlers as well. So you could take some tan paint with a little bit of that titanium white. And we could put that down the middle of some of these antlers, just kind of giving a highlight. And I would probably go around and just kind of clean those up a little bit. And maybe take some darker value and put that down along the bottom just to emphasize that those antlers are darker and then get lighter as you go up. Okay, so I'm gonna call this finished for now. So you can go ahead and add some final details, kind of clean up your edges, take your time and go around the antlers a little bit more. And we'll call that done. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And like, subscribe if you want to see more painting tutorials. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.